those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, the fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. Now your microbiome is one of your body's five health defense systems, and it's made up of 39 trillion bacteria, mostly living in your gut. These bacteria are generally healthy. They help your body heal when it's injured. They lower your blood cholesterol. They help your metabolism and they send signals to your brain. But one of the most profound things your gut microbiome does is to help your immune system defend your body against cancer. 70% of your immune system is located in your intestines, right next to your gut bacteria. And the healthy gut bacteria talk to your immune cells as they conduct surveillance to seek out and destroy cancer cells. So this happens all the time. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. Now, another study examined 200 some people with malignant melanoma, a deadly skin cancer. These patients were being treated with immunotherapy, which is a new type of therapy that uses the body's immune system and directs it against cancer cells. The research found that those patients who had better survival were the ones who had a specific gut bacteria called ruminococcus, and this was linked to how much dietary fiber they were eating. The more fiber the patients were eating, the more ruminococcus, and the better the immune response against the cancer. How much fiber? Well, the study found that for every five grams per day of dietary fiber, five grams is the amount found in a medium-sized pear, there was a 30% decrease in the risk of the cancer progressing or death. Our immune system is more powerful than we ever thought. So powerful, in fact, that if we had cancer, our immune system can wipe it out even if the cancer is spread. There is some biotech or pharmaceutical company working on it to develop some drugs. I will tell you that Mother Nature has beat drug companies to the punch because there are tons of foods, more than 200 foods, that I write about in my book, Eat to Beat Disease that actually have the ability, proven ability through science and research to activate our health defenses. So I'll dive into them and tell you about some of the foods. Well, it turns out there are more than a hundred different foods that have been studied. I've studied almost all of them that can enhance your body's ability to cut off the blood supply to that, are, that might be feeding cancer. So you keep your good, healthy circulation. You prevent the extra blood vessels from feeding cancers. What are some of these foods? Tomatoes. Tomatoes contain a bioactive natural chemical called lycopene. And clinical studies have shown that tomatoes can reduce the risk of prostate cancer. Prostate cancer requires a blood vessel blood supply in order to grow to become a problem. That men who eat two to three servings of cooked tomatoes, tomato sauce, two to three times a week, actually have a 30% lower risk of developing prostate cancer. Why? Because the bioactive in the tomato sauce prevents the blood tumors from recruiting those blood vessels. Now, men that do develop prostate cancers, the more tomato sauce you eat, the less aggressive the prostate cancer actually is. So this has been studied, by the way, in 30,000 men. This is like a human study, not just a theoretical study. Another anti-angiogenic cancer-starving food, soy. Now, there's an urban legend that soy actually causes breast cancer. There's a risk, completely wrong urban legend. Soy has contained phytosterols which the, does have a plant estrogen, which looks nothing like human estrogen, blocks human estrogen. It's like a mother nature's tamoxifen. And studies have actually shown that eating soy lowers the risk of the danger of breast cancer. And in fact, it improves survival in women who actually have breast cancer. If you've got breast cancer or you have risk for breast cancer, the more soy you eat, the lower your risk is, the better your survival. So other foods, black raspberries, cacao, I, I actually studied um, the chocolate uh, that was used to make this, and we actually found that it kills leukemia cells and lymphoma cells. So dark chocolate also cuts off the blood supply of feeding cancer. Pomegranate juice, um, green tea. I wanted to show you this. I, I, I'm actually rarely found 
without a cup of green tea around. This is a whole leaf green tea, but you can use matcha. You can use iced tea works as well as hot tea. I always tell a story in my book. I had a great uncle that lived to 104 and he lived at the base of a tea mountain and every single day he drank like six cups of green tea and stayed very physically active walking up the hills and trails uh, as well. Green tea, by the way, has been shown to reduce your risk of colon cancer. Why? Because the polyphenols in green tea cut off the blood supply, um, feeding cancers. Now, you know, one of the things that um, I've been studying is how much do you need to eat in order to get the benefit? I, I want to show you. Blueberries are anti-androgenic. I had some this morning for breakfast. Some of my favorites uh, love blueberries. The color blueberries, it's called by anthro is made by anthocyanins and natural dye. One cup a week has been shown in human studies to fight breast cancer. Okay, uh, also boost your immune system. Black raspberries, you need a little bit more if you are fighting bladder cancer. Seven cups a day of black raspberries can fight breast uh, bladder cancer. But if you're trying to fight cardiovascular disease, it can also improve heart health as well. And you only need four individual berries a day. So again, food doses is something really cool that we're working on. Walnuts. Now, walnuts have been shown to help improve outcomes for colon cancer. Okay, if you've got, if you're fighting colon cancer, how do you actually lower, um, uh, how do you improve your odds? How do you fight colon cancer better? Nuts contain fiber, which feeds your gut microbiomes, also anti Turns out you need only 11 walnuts per week, 22 halves of walnuts. So think about that. You're watching Netflix and you're snacking on walnuts. If you have 22 of them over the course of a week, that's easy to do. That's, you know, just a two or th three of them a day, three halves a day. That actually is a dose that's been effective, uh, shown effective um, uh, through studies, human studies for colon cancer.